Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome into the business startup section of entrepreneurship. Basically what we're going to be doing in this video is showing you a step-by-step -step process of how you can get your business going basically for free without having to go spend $500 or $750 with a company like LegalZoom or any of those other business startup companies where they will go out and do the service for you and then you, you still have to pay the fees obviously with your state. But this can save you a lot of money and if you're on a very tight budget like I was when I started my business, I did not want to spend $500 on starting up the business when that money was much better put towards advertising. So in this video, basically just going to be showing you how you can do all this for free with the exception of how much you need to pay your state in order to register a business. Getting the federal employer identification number is free. Getting the state tax ID is free. You just need to fill out the paperwork. In this video, I'm basically going to be showing you how to do it online. So it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to mail anything. You don't need to go drive anywhere. And it's uh, a lot quicker and simpler. Also, this is the information that you will need in order to get a business bank account as well. And depending on what state you're in, you may need to have these certain forms filled out before being able to go get a bank account. So let's just get right into it. We're going to basically be pretending to be starting a business in Minnesota. Just go to Google, type in starting a business in Minnesota. You can see lots of ads for LegalZoom and other companies like that. They are fine and dandy. They've helped over a million businesses get started and they can be great. However, if you're on a tight budget, this is a process you need to take. It may take a little bit longer than just going to their website, paying, and then telling them a little bit of information that they would need to know and then boom, it comes back a couple days later. However, with this, then you'll have a better understanding of the whole startup process. So you're going to go to Minnesota Secretary of State. That's what it is for Minnesota. If you're in a different state or even a different country, it might be a different Department of Government. It could be a Department of Commerce, Department of Treasury. There are tons of different ways and varieties, but chances are it's going to be something related to that. So you're going to go to their website. You're going to go to Business Filings Online. Down here, we got File a New Business or Nonprofit. So we have all the different fee amounts for different types of companies. So basically we'll just say that we're going to be a domestic LLC and it's 155 bucks. We'll have to create an account. So now we have our account set up and ready to go. We're just going to do a LLC real for profits. Chances are your business, unless you are a landscape architect and we'll be offering those services, just answer no to that question. And then we'll just do Johnny's lawn care as an LLC, it's available, file the company. So you basically you'll be entering all your information here and then let's see if we can skip, shoot, we can't. So then you're just gonna go to registered agent, that will be you, the office address, which will just be your home address. It has to be a physical address most of the time and the mailing address can be your PO box or private mailbox, whatever you may have. And then you just keep running through and then boom, you are open and ready to go. Then you're gonna want to go to, basically just go to Google, type in F-E-I-N. Here are more companies offering the service. And really what you need to do is just go to the IRS website, irs.gov. You'll be here, apply online now. And then you just hit begin application, enter in your company's information. Oh, and once you are all set up, you will get the articles of organization for an LLC. And you basically need to hold on to that because that is the document you need to bring in to the bank, depending on the bank's rules and what they require for you to be able to start a company bank account. So then you will go here to to limited liability and then continue one member Minnesota started a new business for this you'll want to add an individual because it is a new business that you are starting there hasn't been one that existed beforehand so you'll enter in your name and the addresses and just keep running through entering your social security number that way it's registered with the irs and they know that you are the owner but once it is officially registered they will give you a document containing your employer identification number this is also the number that you need to have in order to start a bank account as well they will also mail you a copy of this and you sometimes will get an email as well but what you want to do is just print out the sheet when it is prompted after you complete this whole process here. And then you're going to go to just Google, type in your state tax ID, other websites that will offer this service. Again, they can be just great, but if you want to spend $150, go right ahead. That is perfectly fine. However, this will just take this quick step by step and enter in your information, new business, web registration. So we'll just click web registration. We go in here, begin the registration process, enter in your company's information. So 
If you are just one person that had registered your LLC, you're a one member LLC, then enter in all the information. So it'll be most likely you will just do an individual type of LLC for how you file your taxes. If you do designate that you are an S corp, you'll have to do a bunch of different incorporation things. I'm not a lawyer or accountant or anything like that, but to make things simpler, we'll just do an individual. And then we do sales and use tax, and we'll just say that we'll begin in January 2017. Nope, just one location. And you can select whether you want to do it once per year, depending on what you may think that you will have in taxes that will be brought in. So this is sales tax. This would be your 7% or whatever it may be on top of the prices that you charge. So say a $200 service for lawn care, you will then charge the customer 14 bucks and that'll be tacked onto the service. And then boom, you take that money and you set it aside to then pay your department revenue, the money that they are owed for that. So we'll just do quarterly. This open all year, yes. Reservation, nope. Counting method. So we enter in business tax information, enter in the identification ID and NAICS code. And basically what you're going to do is look up the codes for landscaping and lawn care and they'll tell you that. And then you enter in all the information there and then you hit OK. And then there'll be a few more questions that, that you will be asked and obviously keep in mind every single state may be a little bit different with what they need to ask. However, it's a pretty painless process and once you go through this whole thing and then you're off and running and you can go to a bank and get your business bank account going and then really start your business there. And then the next step would be to get a logo made.